it's hard for me to imagine how he got within rifle range of, of President Trump. He's not the sitting president. If he was, we would have had this entire golf course around him. Nothing will slow me down, I will never surrender, came the response from Donald Trump following a second failed assassination attempt on September 15. His rival, Kamala Harris, issued a statement too that read, I condemn political violence. No place in political violence for political violence in America. None. Zero. Never. The reality is this second attempt on Mr. Trump's life is another warning about our deranged politics. It's evident that we need the highest level of resources assigned to be on his detail and protecting him. On this occasion, Mr. Trump was playing around a golf at his club in Florida when a member of his Secret Service detail spotted the gunman before he could open fire. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel, stick it out of the fence, and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. Police have identified the alleged gunman as 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Ruth, who likely would have gotten away had it not been for a member of the public who came forward. Fortunately, we were able to locate a witness that came to us and said, hey, I saw the guy running out of the bushes. He jumped into a black Nissan, and I took a picture of the vehicle and the tank. God bless you for what you did. You stepped up, and you made it possible for us to apprehend the suspect, because in all truth had we not gotten that description he just sailed right through my county and who knows if if or when we ever would have gotten our hands on it now in the bushes where this guy was is a 8k 47 style rifle with a scope two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a ceramic tile in them and a gopro Ryan Ruth appeared in federal court in West Palm Beach on September 16. He's facing multiple charges, including possession of a firearm despite being a convicted felon, and possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number. How Mr. Ruth knew that Mr. Trump would be golfing on Sunday at that course, and how he knew where he could set up to target the former president, are just two of the many unanswered questions. Probably between three and 500 yards. But with a rifle and a scope like that, that's not a long distance. Take a look at what happened. Ever since 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks was allowed to shoot at Mr. Trump from a rooftop about 400 feet from where the former president was on stage in Butler, Pennsylvania, the Secret Service has raised his level of protection. But this latest foiled attempt on Mr. Trump's life demonstrates that the former president deserves the greater level of protection as received by the current president as does Kamala Harris, too. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. Two months ago, following the first attempt on Mr. Trump's life, President Biden urged the country to lower the temperature in our politics. But within days, those on both the left and the right were at it again. That includes President Trump himself, who in the ABC News debate referenced the previous assassination attempt. I probably took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. They talk about democracy. I'm a threat to democracy. They're the threat to democracy President with a Trump. fake Russia, Russia, Russia investigation we do have a lot that to get went to. nowhere. We have a lot to get to. Lindsay? Today, the risks aren't only from a lone gunman, if that's what Mr. Ruth is. We already know that Mr. Trump has been targeted by Iran, and it's easy to imagine a foreign power or a domestic political group plotting to kill him now while he's a candidate and his protection is less intense than if he was president. Especially after Butler, Pennsylvania, but now West Palm Beach too, the Secret Service can't be seen to be failing to protect the candidates. One thing I want to make clear, the service needs more help, and I think the Congress should respond to their needs if they in fact need more service. Any harm that comes to either nominee, but especially to Mr. Trump after two failed attempts, would lead to conspiracy theories that could lead to further violence. The country and President Biden can't afford to tempt fate again.